In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of this integral. So this is a special integral. This is called the convolution. So if you have two functions, say f and g, and you star them, by star we mean the following operation called convolution. This is equal to the definite integral from 0 to t of f of v times g of t minus v dv. So this is called the convolution of f and g. So in this problem, uh, we can find our f and g and use something called the convolution theorem. There's a theorem that says if you take the Laplace transform of the convolution of f and g, it's actually really simple. It's the Laplace transform of f. This is really nice. Easy formula times the Laplace transform of g. So in this problem here, we just have to identify what is our f and what is our g based on the definition of convolution, which is this one. And then we can use the convolution theorem, which is this one here. So if we think carefully, we can notice that in this problem, uh, it looks like f of t is going to be e to the t. That's going to be our um, exponential function. And g of t, g of t is simply going to be the sine of t. Okay, this is the sine of t. And that should make sense if you if you want, you could check. If you just take this and this and plug it into this formula, you'll see that you get the definite integral from 0 to t. f of v, well, what's f of v? Well, f of t is e to the t, so it's e to the v, so it does match. And then g of t minus v, that would be sine of t minus v dv. And you see it's exactly what's in the Laplace transform, so it does actually work. So now we can just use our convolution uh, theorem. So this is equal to the Laplace of f of t, so that's the Laplace of e to the t, times the Laplace of g of t, so that's the Laplace of sine of t. And the Laplace of e to the t is simply 1 over s minus 1, that's a cursive s. And that's because uh, the Laplace of e to the at the formula for that is 1 over s minus a. So here a is equal to 1. And the Laplace of sine t will simply be 1 over s squared plus 1 squared. And that's because the Laplace of the sine of kt, lots of formulas in this problem, is equal to k over s squared plus k squared. And so in this case, k is equal to 1. And that's pretty much it. If you want, I suppose you could combine these. This is 1 over parentheses s minus 1, s squared plus 1. And that would be the Laplace transform of this integral, which is really the Laplace of a convolution. Right? It's the convolution of f and g, where f is e to the t and g is sine t. So we could easily, easily rephrase this problem as find the Laplace of e to the t and then sine t, the convolution of the exponential function and the sine function. I hope this video has been helpful.